Today we will have a look at some new tutorials for the Unreal Engine 5. These tutorials are useful for both beginners and intermediate users of the engine, and it will cover different topics that will be definitely of great help to you. A lot of them focus on recreating new environments in the Unreal Engine, while others will teach you about the ArcViz and recreating scenes from movies using Unreal Engine's VFX capabilities. You will also learn how to fracture buildings, how to create full RTS game, create enemy AI, recreating famous Unreal Engine scenes. In addition, you will learn about compositing, geometry, making terrarium scenes, and a lot more. We're gonna start with the latest tutorial for beginners made by Unreal Sensei. This tutorial will guide you from knowing absolutely nothing about the engine to actually learning a lot along the process. The 5 hour long tutorial is where Unreal Sensei will teach you how to create an outstanding environment that will boost your confidence using Unreal Engine 5. The video is divided into individual chapters and each chapter will cover something new about the engine. You will start by learning how to install the software and create a new project. Then you will learn how to navigate through the project, place and transform all the objects in the scene, create materials and import 3D models. In addition, the tutorial will walk you through the amazing new lighting system called Lumen. Also how to sculpt landscape, paint foliage, use the Quixel Megascans library and nanite objects. You will even learn about blueprints and how to make a new video game. A real engine can sometimes be hard to learn, but this is gonna be useful for you even if you are an absolute beginner, so this can be your starting point. Now we're gonna take a look at the tutorial published by the Cinecom.net channel. In this video, Jordi, the creative director of the channel, will challenge us to create a famous Independence Day movie scene where aliens blew up the White House into little pieces. The scene will be made entirely inside the Unreal Engine 5. This tutorial particularly is quite fun to go through. It will teach you how to fracture a building inside of the Unreal Engine using its new amazing modeling tools and adjusting the explosion simulation settings and then you will learn how to create the fire VFX using the Niagara system and you will do that according to the original scene. At the end, you will find some composite effects to make the render even more amazing. Next up, we have an 11 hour tutorial that will teach you how to create an RTS game from the ground up. We all know that making a video game is something that is very hard to do. That's why finding a good free course about it is really a nice thing and we have this tutorial that can help you out. You will start your project by learning how to use blueprints, which is one of the most important things to learn, especially if you want to start creating video games without coding. After that, you will learn about creating landscapes inside of the Unreal Engine using materials and assets found in the Quixel Megascans library. The highlight of this course is when you embark on creating the artificial intelligence within your game that will lead to the development of new features that can be incorporated into the game. You can also contact the UNF game channel and you can do that on Discord if you got stuck at some point along the way. This tutorial is definitely gonna be an amazing experience for everyone who's lost but gonna try to figure out how to create their video game from scratch in the Unreal Engine 5. In this one, you will learn how to create basic enemy AI that you can use in multiple video games. This short tutorial aimed to get beginners making their way into Unreal Engine creating a complete new artificial intelligence. You will start by creating an enemy blueprint and then integrating it within the default character inside Unreal Engine 5. Following the simple and straightforward steps given in the tutorial, you will learn how to create enemy AI with a system that you can expand later and use according to your project preferences. Also, we have this amazing tutorial where we will have some breakdown and analysis of one of the most viewed scenes on social media achieved using Unreal Engine 5. This tutorial will teach you about some concepts and ideas about how these terrarium scenes were made. You will learn how to set up the project, the lighting setup using Lumen instead of baked lighting. Also, how some of the amazing details were made, like the water and the raindrops that make this scene look so believable as well as some of the post processes like volume tricks and trips to obtain these kind of results. The artist will go further, explaining the setting within the sequence and the cue for viewing the movie. And at the end of the video, you will learn new things about cinematography, compositing and color correction, taking us behind the scenes of creating them. 
The tutorial will be very useful if you are aiming to become an environment artist or a compositing artist. But most importantly, it will show you the power of Unreal Engine 5 and the amazing things you can create with it in just few clicks. Talking about environment artists, the latest tutorial on how to create 3D environments made by Punisher is an exceptional one. He's always been known for 3D art challenges that inspired a lot of people out there to become 3D artists after seeing other artists creating amazing stuff. This time around, he has created an amazing tutorial that features how to create 3D environments using Unreal Engine 5, and you can do this in a short period of time. You will start by learning how to set up your camera alongside the environment and lighting to reach that level where your 3D scene will start to take shape. The video will teach you a lot about tricking settings using pre-made Megascan assets so that you won't be spending a lot of time on modeling anything new. You will set up a fully customizable foliage that you will later paint all over the environment. And in the exporting part, you will be taught how to make the best out of real-time rendering settings to achieve the best quality possible using the Unreal Engine 5. This tutorial is good for both experienced 3D artists and beginners as well, and it will be specifically helpful for those whom are trying to become environment artists. Again, with the Cinecom.net YouTube channel, Jordi tried to create probably the most realistic scene that went super viral on social media. The first time anyone sees the scene will have difficulty believe that it is not actually real and that it is made all using 3D and Unreal Engine 5. This scene was made by an artist from Italy named Lorenzo, where he tried to recreate a train station from Japan. You will start the tutorial by learning how to block the scene out using simple shapes utilizing Unreal Engine 5's new amazing modeling tools. After that, you will see how to use Quixel Megascan's library assets and tweak them to create an actual environment. You will also use imperfections and decals to populate the scene and give it some realism that can be found in real life, alongside with the full use tool to paint the floor with some small rocks usually found in these types of environments. You will also learn how to create cameras and animate them in order to have some sort of real life perspective that adds a lot to the scene when it comes to realism. The final result is gonna blow your mind away and will make you want to learn more about the engine and how it works. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.